On today's show, I have uh, Dara Oladapo uh, with me. Uh, he's uh, from Microsoft Nigeria, so he's going to be joining me today on the show uh, to take a closer look at the Microsoft Power Automate. Hello, good afternoon, Dara. Hi, good afternoon, Kazem. Yes, so uh, Dara, you're very much welcome on today's show. Uh, so we're going to delve straight uh, into business. Or perhaps before we do that, Dara, can you uh, a quick introduction uh, about yourself and then before we delve in? Okay, yeah, it's nice to be on this show. Uh, my name is Dara Oladahu and I'm a customer access engineer at Microsoft. What that simply means is that I support customers and technical communities to leverage Azure for optimal productivity. Okay, thank you, Dara. So, uh, Dara, can, can you help us, you know, myself, the listeners, and everybody listening right now, can you help us understand this tool called Power Automate? What is Power Automate, Dara? Okay, um, I'll start with painting a scenario. Uh, let's say I run a business, maybe a fashion company or, okay, let's say a fashion company, and I have my brand online for Twitter. And what happens is people love my brand. I get this like every five minutes or every three minutes. And there's too much work on me to be able to capture all that feedback, to know which tweets are positive, which one are negative, which one doesn't even concern me to reply to. I could deal with this two ways. The first step is I employ a social media manager to go to each of these tweets, uh, check them, analyze each of them, or maybe if, even if in the midnight something bad happens, uh, the person has to be online to resolve the problem. Or I could go smart and empower my social media manager to be more productive. How do I do this? I use uh, a couple of AI services. Uh, now, I don't mention names now. I'll mention them at the end. Uh, so I gather all these tweets in an automated fashion. I put them in a spreadsheet. And I use, uh, and I analyze with some AI services to analyze the content of each of the tweets and categorize them to know are they positive, are they customer feedback, someone trying to open an account with me, someone trying to um, become a new customer, or is someone having a bad feedback about my business. And I categorize this based on those uh, AI classification uh, mechanisms. And then I decide what to do based on each category. So if it's a somebody trying to get to become my customer, I put it in a CRM tool, that's customer relationship management tool. Or if it's a feedback, I give, uh, I channel it to the appropriate team to be able to manage that feedback and get back to the customer. Now, the two, and now, I can do all this direct in a single line of code. And the service that enables me, that empowers me to do that, is called Power Automate. And that's just one of the many thousand scenarios that can happen with Power Automate. Wow. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Dara, for that. Uh, so in a, in a simple, uh, you know, in a layman's language, you know, how do you want to also help us define this, you know, for the non-techie uh, folks listening? You know, yes, okay. I, yes. Uh, so uh, I'll put it as uh, so coming calling from the official definition, power automate is a tool that lets users create automated workflows within application and services. Okay. That's it. Simple sentence. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. So we're saying that in a nutshell, uh, we can do some of these very nice, uh, you know, very uh, mouth-watering things without having to write a single line of code. Um, oh, yes. Okay. Dara, I know you to be a developer. I know you're a, you know, you're a developer, a seasoned developer at that. So I want you to share with the listeners now, how have you been able to leverage, uh, you know, on this product called Power Automate? How has it been able to help you as a developer? Okay. I'll, I'll take one of the most recent things I did with Power Automate. Uh, I run the stream every Saturday, some of Saturday, and I tweet, people tweet, I need to capture everything that has that hashtag inside. I'm able to perform some analytics on them, maybe even send them automated replies like, thank you for watching the show and all that. So what happens is, I use Power Automate to capture all the tweets that contain that hashtag. 
and then I populate an Excel sheet automatically. What happens is at the end of the show, every week, I can go back to that Excel sheet and actually see how many people tweeted at that hashtag. And I'm able to actually know how much impact that stream is making. That is one of the scenarios I've used. Now, I could have decided to go write uh, lines of code to plug into this API, and then I write some code to populate an Excel sheet somewhere. But I could simply just connect with it. Within five minutes, I was actually done creating all that workflow without having to write a single line of code. Oh, wow. Wow. That's really nice. Uh, another question there for you is, um, you know, Power Automate and uh, the Power Platform generally is known as a no-code or less-code uh, kind of product. So um, I'm hosting this show today on Lasso Radio, you know. So how would you say if we want to um, take advantage, you know, Lasso students and their lecturers, you know, want to take advantage of a tool like uh, the power automate. How do you think we can put it to use in a university setting such as Lasso? You know, how can it help uh, the students and the lecturers? You know, at the same time, how can they take advantage of this tool? Do you think uh, you know you can work? Uh, you know, in a, in a university setting between lecturers and students. Okay, uh, so I'll, I'll find it in a number of ways, and of course, there's a lot of other possibilities apart from what I'll mention. Uh, so, for example, uh, a lecturer gives out assignments to the students and they're supposed to submit online on a portal or something, or maybe even it's a quiz they're supposed to do. Maybe even it's in a class. So in a classroom, at the end of the class, I project on the screen, say, answer these questions, and that'll be your assessment. And then, of course, I sign in with my uh, student ID to fill in all the uh, to fill in all my survey on, uh, on the quiz, rather. And what happens is at the end of everything, once every student has submitted, it populates a spreadsheet for me to show, to show how many students actually filled in the quiz. And then I'm able to grade in a very nice manner. That is one thing. Or maybe I uh, there's a communication channel between lecturer and students, and I may be Slack or Teams or whatever channel they use. What can happen is maybe I upload uh, so for example, computer science department, uh, I upload a lab for the students to go complete. I upload it on one on a shared uh, cloud storage, like OneDrive. And then what happens is I can I'm able to notify the students through Teams or Slack that there's a new file that they're supposed to go download to read through. So maybe before class, before the next class, I upload the 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 outline for the course that I'm supposed to teach in the morning. Every student gets an email or a chat message or maybe even SMS that there's a new file for them to go download and read and it attaches the link to it for them. Maybe even does a summary of the notes for them. Those are two scenarios that I can think of the top of my head. Out of, there's a lot of other possibilities that can happen depending on how creative you want to be with it. Okay, so, so you're saying that I hear that... Um... It means that the lecturers will need to have some basic understanding of how the tool work. Is that correct? To be factually honest with you, maybe a little work tool, but to be honest with you, uh, it's something they can easily log into and configure, like without maybe even having to read some very special documents, because the, the, the creation process is simple and seamless. They don't need any special tutorials to go through. Okay, okay. All right, Dara. And uh, before we go on a short break, Dara, uh, you are an on-the-job person. So I, I want to ask, uh, you know, this tool, do you use some other tools in addition with this Power Automate tool to get your job done? Uh, if you do, do, do you mind sharing, uh, you know, some of these tools that you use to augment, uh, you know, Power Automate? Or is it just a Lone Ranger? Is it a standalone tool that you can get, uh, that you can use to get all of your job done? Okay, so, as as we know, all these uh, less code platforms, no code platforms, or even coding platforms, they are means to an end. The end is also the productive, yeah? So what happens is, Power Automate is one of the tools I use. So it has something we call connectors. So I can connect to my separate services. Say, so for example, I, um, I don't know, 
maybe I finish maybe an online conference call. It can get the link of the video shared with me, or maybe even download it to be shared drive and share the link with every attendee. I use it with other services, to be honest. Um, an example is, a popular example, of course, is Twitter. I can use it with my Google Drive, so maybe I want to synchronize stuff from my official OneDrive to Google Drive, even though it's not that compliant. Yeah, I could do that, or maybe I want to keep some stuff in synchronization. I can do that, so I use uh, storage with it. I use uh, some coded services. So, for example, I can decide to call an API. So, for example, once it finishes uh, anal uh, getting the tweets, I can call an API to do the analysis on the tweets. There's just a lot. And if I start to mention, we may not leave here today, to be honest, because the possibilities are just endless. Okay, okay. Thank you so much, Dara. So, I think we, we need to go on a short break now, and we'll be back in a little bit. The registration for 2020 WIAC, JAM and NECO is in progress. Are you looking for a stress-free way to have your registration? Search no more. Hurry now to Lasso CBT Center inside Lasso Main Campus or JAW. For further inquiries, call Timitope on 0908-789-9045 or 0901-853-9448. Lasso CBT Center is open for all. Come now for your registration. All right, you're welcome back. It's the Tech Talk Show Wednesday with Kazim. And again, I'm having Dara Oladapo of Microsoft Nigeria with me on the show today. Uh, so Dara, uh, um, I want to put you on the spot right now, Dara. Um, you know, it would have been nice. This is a radio show. It would have been nice that, uh, you know, we'll ask you to show us a few of those things that, uh, um, you know, you've been able to do with the Power Platform product and uh, with uh, the Power Automate, uh, to be specific. Uh, but uh, because it's a radio show, Dara, you know, we have an event coming up at the center, at the Lasso CBT Center on the 7th of March. So I want to ask right now, you know, the students are listening. Uh, will you do us the honor to be around, you know, uh, for this event to come and show us some of these cool stuff, Dara? Okay, 7th of March. Of March. Uh, well, I wouldn't commit yet, but uh, <laughs> it's something we can walk around. So maybe even if I'm not able to come, I could probably do a pre-recorded session and be online to answer questions. If I'm not able to make it, of course. Oh, okay. But uh, it looks like that date is still free on my calendar. I don't know what can happen between now and now. So we'll, ju we'll just take you that you'll be at the CVT Center on the 7th then. Okay, okay, all right. <laughs> all right, so thank you so much, Dara. So um, we have an intern here with us, uh, you know, for, at the Lasso CBT Center. Every time I host the show, so I try to come on the show with, uh, you know, some of the interns. So I will allow the intern to introduce himself and perhaps uh, he has a question for you, Dara. All right. All right. All right. Good day, listeners. Good day, Mr. Dara. I am Saeed. Yeah, good day. Yes, ma'am. I'm Saeed, an intern of Lasso CBT 18. All right, maybe I will ask you your question um, later as uh, when the program, the program goes on, I'll ask you. I haven't penned down the questions very well. So I'm still coming, sir. All right, no problem. All right. Okay, so uh, there are no questions for you from the interns at the moment, Dara. So I want to ask Dara quickly, uh, how easy really is it to learn this tool? Power Automate, how easy is it to learn? And uh, if we have listeners um, wanting to build a career in Power Automate, you know, so what are the career paths? You know, what would be your advice for people who want to uh, delve into Power Platform products generally or learn how to code using these no-code tools? Okay. Uh, well, as I mentioned, there's a lot of possibilities. And of course, Power Platform is a one in the tool of services that connects to many other things. So I generally just see it as something to enable me to be more productive as a business person, as a programmer, as a manager, 
as whoever I am. So even if I don't have a career in technology, I'm still able to use Power, uh, power Automate or another power tools to be able to achieve my business goals in a more productive manner. So to get started with Power Platform, uh, uh, with Power Automate precisely now, you can go to powerautomate.microsoft.com powerautomate.microsoft.com uh, so for, to be able to use that you will need an Office 365 account Office 365 so, Dara, what does Office 365 mean? Okay, so Office 365 is Microsoft Suite of Services Productivity Services so it has Word, PowerPoint, Excel in the cloud so oh. Word, PowerPoint, Excel, Teams all that so uh, I want to assume I don't know if Lasso has a status file for lecturers and students. If they don't, I think they should get on it. Yes. Um, uh, what can they do? Yes, uh, you know, Lasso, I believe, uh, you know, are leveraging some of these uh, services already. Uh, it would be amazing, you know, for you to know that. Uh, uh, the you know he, now you know at Lasso uh, generally you know they are very techy people even the lecturers themselves uh, very very techy and uh, I was surprised too that uh, in a number of this technology they already have on ground and uh, we also have the Lasso CBT Center too also in the school premises so and the Lasso CBT Center is also a Microsoft uh, you know partner. So, uh, oh, so there's okay. a very good handshake between the school and the center there. Okay, so, that, and that makes it awesome. yes, yeah. here, here is what I think we would do there. You know, how about uh, you know on the social media handles? Uh, if I put you to task there to help us put something together, and you can share on our social media, perhaps uh, the the listeners can come online and read a little bit more. You know about. Uh, some of these things, you know, some of the tools that they can use, some of the tools they can get their hands on, maybe some of the learning materials too. I know you write, uh, you know, you blog about some of these topics every once in a while. So it would be nice if you have, uh, you know, a little write-up, an article about this that you can share uh, on the platform so that the listeners can also, uh, you know, benefit from there. Okay, all right, sure. I'll, I'll be sure to do that within the next couple of days or oh. hours. Oh, okay. Okay. All right, Dara. So thank you so much, Dara, for having you on the show with us today. Uh, but before now, before I let you go, Dara, you know, I usually co-host the show with uh, my people here. So and I'm sure, you know, they will have some questions for you too as well. So for me, uh, probably I have a question for you. I have chocolate here, so I'm sure. So do you have any questions for Dara before? All right, Dara, good afternoon. Hi, good afternoon. Good afternoon. It's good to have you join us on this Dow 95.7. And I've been listening to everything you said. Uh, this topic started from last week, uh, talking about power platform. Uh, platform. And of course, uh, I was really elated when he said that you can use this to build your own app, even without knowing how to build the software of probably knowing how to write a programming language Definitely. but but the thing is the thing i want to ask right now i is, mind you that uh, for me is a techie radio person so <laughs> <laughs> yeah to put me on the spot <laughs> all right the question i have basically is um how can people build this app knowing that we do not need to uh, learn how to use the programming languages or probably know how to use the software so how can people start Yes, how can people start with uh, this app? How can this app be built by people that do not know how to use the programming languages, the various programming languages that we have, the softwares that we have? How can people start building this power, power automate application, application without knowing how to use the software? Okay. Um, so the thing is, as a person, you know what you want to achieve, mm -hmm. right? Yes. So what happens is, say I, I have a business or I have something I'm doing. Okay, maybe I have a clothing store. That's a popular example of Donna. Kazim can relate to that. Yes. So uh, what happens is, Donna has a store where she, uh, she sells uh, very fashionable Ankara materials. And what happens is, you, you can just build out your conversational services so for example you want to make an order on with uh, so now nah, this is 
combining power automated uh, power virtual agents, you are able to say when the bot realizes there's an order to be made, automate the process of creating an order in the backlog or something. That is one scenario. And as to get started, it's as simple as just going online and say, I think, let me see if this link works. Uh, ak.ms slash power platform. So if you go to ak.ms slash power platform, you should be able to see, to actually be, um, to see the list, uh, the services you are actually, the things you can use to get started, documentations, uh, videos, uh, a whole lot of stuff you can use to get started on using uh, the, what's it called, the Power Automate tool. I'm not sure that link is valid, uh, but what what will happen is I will I will share the link on the Twitter channel, on okay. social media, mm -hmm. so you can see all the things. So how to get started, how to get more advanced, and all the stuff. I think that will be better. All right, thank you so much uh, for joining us. And I'm quite sure that Kazim, Kazim, do you have other questions, or do you still want to have a conversation with I, you? I, I, I think uh, we, you know, we can continue this conversation on social media. So again, the uh, handle uh, across the social media platform is Lasso CBT18. So you can do that. All for the show proper, we can do Tech Talk Wednesday with Kazim on Instagram on Twitter, on Facebook. And uh, you might want to also catch up on, uh, you know, the past episode that you've missed, so you can as well do that on YouTube. So it's the, the same handle on YouTube as well. All right, thank you so much for joining us. And of course, uh, to Kazim, thank you for today's topic. Uh, this topic started last week, and I told you that I'm really interested in it. And it seems we are gradually, gradually getting to that hub where we finally get to start to build our own hubs by ourselves without getting in touch with any software guru yes. or anyone that is into the programming language of a thing. Because and, some people and, and find it really confusing. should also remember to be at the last CBT center on the 7th. Yes, so there's please. a possibility we of having Dara with us also on the 7th. Dara, we are pleading that you come to <laughs> Lagos State University March 7th. Should okay, we be expecting so I just you? Got the link now. I just got the link to get started uh, to the website. It's ak.ms slash ms power platform aka.ms slash ms power platform but i'll still share it on on the social media channel for everyone to be able to see all right thank you so much you're welcome all right so kazim uh just to wrap up uh before we leave what else you want to say concerning this topic Okay, so I think we're going to continue the topic uh, next week. Uh, you know, we, we started the, uh, you know, the old power platform suite of product last week. And that this week, we're focusing on just one of the tools, Power Automate. So let's see uh, which of the tools we're going to talk about next week. So mm -hmm. it's either going to be Power BI or Power Virtual Agent okay. or Power Apps. So either one of the two. So I'll also try to get in someone to, you know, be on the show and on the job person to be on the show for next week. So thank you, listeners. Thank you, everyone. All right, Lagos is a wrap right here on Tech Talk Wednesday with Kazim. Uh, this show will return next week, Wednesday, 1.30 to 2 p.m. on Last Radio 95.7. The Launch Hour Drive continues with Chocolate and for me. Stay tuned. <laughs>